Well, I didn't film too much of uh, this process, but I did want to show you what I'm going to do for the covers. Now, I've got book board here. This is actually book board off of an old um, uh, history book. Um, and then this is new book board, but it's all the same width. And then I took cardstock, and I took three pieces, not super heavyweight, but three pieces of cardstock, cut them. They're a little over an inch, and about three inch, I've got about a three inch spine. So three inches this way, a little over an inch this way. Um, put three of them together and then glued them, strategically locating them where I wanted them um, to have the, the ridge on the spine of the book. So I have got six and a half by nine and a half, and then three by nine and a half um, for, for the book that I'm doing. Uh, I also have some, this is a muslin. It's not a really tightly weaved muslin, but it's going to be perfect for what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to cut a piece of it to cover this with probably about an inch, both top and bottom and sides. And I'll get all that set up and I'll come back and show you how I'm going to go through the process. Okay, so I have myself an inexpensive brush and I've got some PVA glue. Now you, you can use some glue all, PVA glue. You could use some Fabri-Tac, but this is pretty pricey to uh, use on that. And this is made for books, book binding, so I think we're just going to stick with this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to glue, or get glue, all over this. Let me wet my brush just a little bit. Okay. And you want it on both ledges. my Tim Holtz mat down, but I didn't. So I'm just going to have to try and be somewhat clean. Huh. Playing with glue and talking being clean, that's interesting. Okay. So we're going to lay this down so that we're kind of in the middle all the way around. A little lower here. get it stuck and we're going to flip it over and now I'm just going to kind of start pulling it around we want it to be um, tight so we're just going to Make sure we've got it pulled nice and tight both this way. We wanted to get it up in those grooves. And you can either use your fingernails or if you have a stylist, you can probably use that to roll some of that up in there. Or a, let's see. Can't remember which one I liked the last time we did this because it's been a long time since I've done this. Yeah, I think the the bone folder was my favorite. As it'll kind of pull if you need to pull it. So where am I? If you need to pull some excess out of there, excess uh now we can pull this back down. If the excess fabric has to be pulled, then you just kind of, you know, you can work it pretty well. 
you just want to keep making sure that you're getting this going to stick around these and you can make it uh, you actually can make it a little a little thicker but um, I think I'm going to be happy with this I, I didn't want them to be so stuck out uh, okay that is pretty good now this book board is really thick stuff. It's almost a quarter of an inch. So you want to make sure that what you're leaving on each side, if you're working with this stuff, that you're, you know, leaving a, enough that it's going to be able to work properly. Okay, I think that's good. We're going to flip it back around again, being careful not to put a, pull it off. And most of the time, I would say we're going to look. But we're going to wait and let this dry completely. In fact, I guess I will, just because I should. <laughs> so I'll put you guys some. Well, I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, so I, it's not completely dry, but it's pretty dry, and um, the secret that you're doing it well enough is that you're not getting a lot of sticky through the material, because you don't want the hard sticky on this side of the material, you just want it on the book side. Um, when you pick it up and flip it around, um, you can see bits and pieces of maybe where it's not stuck properly and you want to make sure that you get the sides of these little bits of, uh, of, um, of the, the paper that you put on. See I've got this glued really nicely all the way here. Um, I need to put a little more wetness here, a little more wetness here, and a little bit. So in the thoughts of time I'm going to make these little uh, these little um, corrections here or just with some Fabri-Tac because I want to be able to move on and get this done and then all of that right there make sure it gets down on the end of that paper. And kind of push that in, but make sure you're not losing the edge. Okay. Alright, now that'll dry pretty quick. Let's look at this other side and see how well I did. Alright, so I got that all the way to the edge. I'm going to do the same thing here. <laughs> it's running away! I'm going to do the same thing here. A little bit on that paper. And I've got everything else pretty well. Gonna flip this around and just give a little push, give that nice edge going around the edge of that paper so that it's gonna be nice and finished when I'm got the book further along. Okay, now I don't know if you can see those, but they are really taking shape nicely for me. Okay, 
All right, so now we're going to do the next section. And uh, there's whoever cut this for me didn't do a great job, or the person they cut it for before. And I didn't notice that it wasn't, you know, really good rectangles. So this side is going to be a little challenging. Um, so I am going to be putting. I want a good, I think that's probably closer to a half inch than a quarter of an inch. Make sure I'm going to have, okay, and let's see, do I want to put this towards this way? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So I'm going to put more glue, spread it around. You want to get all the edges, um, you know, all the way to the edge. And I do have a, a little bit, well my brush is wet, but not dripping, so damp. And that helps move the glue around, helps it last just a little bit longer than it normally would. Alright, I'm going to flip this around and line it up. I don't think I quite got that. Okay. Now I'm going to flip this over and work it. Okay. I want to make sure that I've got enough space to shut the book and have it work out nicely. Just smooth this out. And again, I'm not getting glue through on my hands, so this is not being a super messy uh, part of the process here. I'll flip it back around and double check. See, now it looks like I am a little tighter here than I am here. I think I am. I'm going to lift. Oh, it's not going to allow me to do much lifting. Slide. Okay. I think that'll be good. There we go. I got it. I got it slid a little bit. Okay, and now we'll do the other one, and then I'll go back and check and make sure that I've got everything glued properly. Okay. There we go. I have not been able to really keep up with my YouTube recently. I guess the holidays just have been crazy. Um, all kinds of things going on, but uh, I have been still kind of plugging away at them. And so I'm sorry they're not coming as much as uh, they normally do. And I do try and keep up with any messages that anybody sends me so you know comments those kind of things so I, I am trying to to uh, keep up with everything between my Etsy store and and my folks and of course my husband and my children <laughs> Aren't we all that way? It's crazy, but fun.
This is a fun time of year. Very fun time of year. I'm giving this a little pull, wanting to make sure. I think I'm looking just about even there. Pull it over this way. Make sure. Okay, I'm just going to push this puppy down. Looks like I'm going to have nice edges, except for that one spot. Some nice edges to, uh, to work with, pulling it around the back of the book. to line these up. Before I do anything more. So now I have them lined up top and bottom. And I'm going to pull the cloth across the long sides. I can get rid of a little bit of bulk. Just do kind of a little quickie thing here. And I'm doing that on all four corners, just what you saw me do there. I'm just kind of just kind of getting rid of a little bit of the bulk. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to pull. <laughs> I'm just going to pull this around here like this. Trying to keep the books in line because the material moves, but I don't want the books to get out of line and I'm just giving this a good pull while trying to keep the book pieces itself from moving. And this is where if you have some clips that will come in quite handy. I'm going to take a little bit of my Fabri-Tac and I'm going to prepare my corners so the material is pulled down around the corners. Again, I'm going to do that. Get a little bit of Fabri-Tac in there. Come on. There we go. And then just prepping those corners, getting that pulled in around there. And that's the one nice thing about this material is it really does kind of um, go into almost gauze-like material uh, and doesn't uh, doesn't build up to a huge big bulk. Okay, so those are done and that's feeling pretty good. Let's flip it over and just see how it looks. All right. Okay. 
Now I'm going to do this side. Put the uh, glue down. And I'm giving it a good, good pull. Make sure I've got it. And I'm just pulling it up. Keeping in mind that we're trying to keep this working this way really well. Good job. Yay! Alright, I'm going to use my Fabri Tac again on the corners. Just a little bit of glue. Push edge down and then pull it over and then just really push it down into that glue and make it super stopped up in it. And then let's see, let me do this side. Okay. Now let me let me see if I can bead down on it a little bit closer just so you can see what I'm doing. Are you going to focus? There. Okay. So I'm taking a little bit of glue and putting it right up against the outside edge of the book. Whoops. And then I'm stretching. I'm stretching this over the side. And then I'm pulling this piece in. I'm just getting it really pushed down into that glue so I have a really nice edge along my book. Okay. All right, let me pull you back out before I forget. And then you'll never see anything but the, the book thingy itself. <laughs> okay. Now, we're just going to do the same thing here. And pull this across. And I'm giving this a good pull. And then I'm pushing it down onto the glue. And I'm making sure I'm getting myself formed really nice corners on the edge of that book. If I need to put a little more glue, put a little more glue. Now this is getting where you get a little bit dirtier you're pushing pretty hard where you are going to get some of that glue coming through there. Okay, and that is nice. That is nice. And both of those look fantastic corners. All right, let's do the same thing on this side. Okay, this is a little shorter here, but it's still working like it's doing pretty well. I'm just making sure that's pushed down in there really well and it is. Okay, so we're going to put again some glue oops, right on the edge and then up a little bit and then kind of follow where things are going to be folded. And let's give it a nice big pull and over
all that. It's a little shorter, so I'm going to be spending just a little bit more time on that, make sure that it's really taking hold. This again would be a great spot if you had a clip. You could clip it up and let it hold for a little while. But my clips are not right here with me, so I'm just working my fingers. Kind of hard on the arthritis. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of clip a little bit of that excess away. the same on this side. Right. There we go. All right. Very nice. Okay. So there is the book so far. Yeah, it's still a long way from done, but at least you now you would do this with any piece of fabric that you wanted. If you had a, a, a regular piece of cotton, I would suggest steering clear of material that really had some stretch to it, because it does, you know, it makes it pretty difficult. Um, this has a little bit of stretch to it, but only in one direction. Um, there's some that only will have stretch if you do bias, which means taking this corner and this corner and pulling it, but pulling it this way and pulling it this way, there's not really much stretch. Those are the kind of materials you want. Um, cotton doesn't have much of a stretch at all, really, if it's like a, a, a regular cotton like you would use on a quilt or something like that. So. Um, so this is, this is it. This is the basic part of the book. Now I'm going to, I don't actually know if I'm going to paint this. I don't know yet. So, I don't know yet. <laughs> I think I am definitely going to paint it because, you know, I've got all these things that go through here. Um, so once I figure out what I'm going to do, I will come back to you and show you part of it. Okay? All right, guys. See you in a little.